My name is Ambassador Jeffrey Tenilawe. I'm the chief host of uh, this event on the uh, 54th independence anniversary of Nigeria, which we are celebrating here in Atlanta. I feel very good about our country. We are making progress, and we continue to make more progress despite all the challenges we have. Nigeria is a great country. It's the biggest country in Africa, the biggest economy in Africa. We are very, Nigeria should be proud of what we are, and uh, continue to contribute to our social economic development. So thank you very much. I'm Kelechi Eke. I'm a Nigerian filmmaker. I live in Dallas, Texas. And I'm here honoring the invitation by the General Consulate to come and uh, share our stories. You know, Nigerian film industry is growing big and bigger. And uh, we are trying to work harder and improve it and do a good job telling our stories by ourselves. So today I had the honor for my film to be actually shown here at the 54th uh, Nigerian Independence Day, uh, African Time. It's a comedy addressing our habit of lateness. But when you see the film, it wasn't actually talking just about us being late. It uh, also talked about African time now being our time to shine, our time to rise up as a people, our time to become the big influence that we are in Africa. So it's a very good film that you have to watch. And I'm privileged, very privileged, for it to be shown here in front of all these diplomats. I'm very highly honored. Thank you very much for having me. My name is Dr. Sarah Jibre. I serve as a special advisor to the president on ethics and values. And it's a great opportunity to celebrate our 54th uh, independence anniversary with our brothers and sisters in Atlanta. Wonderful night, great. What inspired you about the movie, Weeping Ashes? Weeping Ashes actually came by accident. I was on social media one day and this video came up where a young man was set on fire in Uganda. Uh, they said uh, he was gay. So I stopped everything that I was doing to address that issue. We may not agree with it, um, but who are we to judge? Uh, setting a human being on fire, that's the most painful death. I mean, it, it, oh my goodness, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. So I did a short film about it to address the issue and I ended up submitting it to international film festivals and human rights film festivals where it actually won the best screenplay. Woo! Congrats! <laughs> Thank you very much. So my goal now is to make it into a full-blown film and I called it uh, Jungle Injustice. Not Jungle Justice, Jungle Injustice. And you know, we're always your fan, a fan of, I've always been a fan of yours as well. And Lara is open to Big OB Productions. You know, we're here to embrace it and make sure the next time you have that movie, come here and do your premiere in Atlanta. We will definitely support you. I definitely will come back. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with what I've seen here today.